Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print K-shaped alphabet pattern. So what exactly is this K-shaped alphabet pattern? Let me show you directly. So this is how guys a K-shaped alphabet pattern will look like. We need to write the Java program to print this pattern. So for doing so, initially, we need to break this entire pattern into two parts like this case okay this is the first half of the pattern this is the second half of the pattern now let's write the code for printing the first half of the pattern for that we need to find out few details of this first half of the pattern that is how many rows are there in this pattern there are one two three four five five rows next uh, thing we need to find from this pattern is how many alphabets are there in each and every row of this pattern in the first row there are one two three four five five Second row, there are four, third row, three, fourth row, two, and fifth row, finally, we have only single alphabet like this. Now, using these details, we need to write the code for printing this first half of the pattern. So for that, here, I'll be creating a for loop case. This for loop need to iterate how many times? This for loop need to iterate the row number of times. If there are five rows in this pattern, this for loop should iterate five times. For that, I'll say int i is equal to five, i greater than zero, then i minus minus. Why I'm starting with five guys? Why I'm starting with five and uh, reducing the value of i by one for every iteration. This for loop will iterate five times, starting from five till one, it will iterate five, four, three, two, one. When i becomes zero, this condition will fail. So initially in the first iteration, i is five, second iteration, i minus minus. So four like that, it will go up to one, five, four, three, two, one. So five times it will iterate. But why we are starting with five and ending with one? So the reason here is, you see here five are there. Five alphabets are there. In the second row, there are four alphabets. Every time the number of alphabets are getting reduced. That's why we are also writing the for loop in this manner. In the first row, in the first row, there should be five alphabets printing. The number of alphabets to be printed is also five. That's why we are starting with uh, i is equal to five guys. This will make our uh, program easy, kind of easy. Now let's create another for loop, which is inner for loop. The purpose of this for loop is to print the alphabets. Okay. How many number of alphabets should be printed when i is equal to five? When i is equal to five, five alphabets should be printed. So for that reason here, I'll write the logic like this. Int j is equal to zero j less than i. Semicolon j plus plus. Let's see how many times uh, this will iterate. When i is equal to 5, when the value of i is 5, how many times this inner for loop will iterate? The pi greater than 0 is true, will go inside, and inner for loop will iterate how many times? Starting from 0 till j is less than 5. That means 0 is less than 5 is true. j less than i means i is 5, right? 0 less than 5 is true. Then in the next iteration, 0 is over. In the next iteration, j will become 1. 1 is also less than 5. Then 2, 2 is also less than 5. Then 3, 3 is also less than 5. Then 4, 4 is also less than 5. When j becomes 5, 5 less than 5 will become false. So how many times this for loop is, inner for loop is getting iterated? If i is equal to 5, the inner for loop will iterate 5 times. So every time it iterates, we need to print an alphabet. Here, we need to write a print statement, system.out.out. Here, instead of print println, we have to use a normal print statement. And here we need to print the alphabet. Inside the print statement, we have to print the alphabet. But how to print the alphabet? What, and what should be the first alphabet to be printed in the row? Here, if you see the pattern, the first alphabet should be A, guys. Right? It should start with A. So how to print alphabet A and thereafter have to increment uh, alphabet, right? The next alphabet should be printed, then next alphabet, then next alphabet. How can we make sure that this kind of pattern, this kind of uh, uh, alphabets can be printed, okay, in an incremental way? For that guys, uh, what we can do here is uh, here in the beginning of the program, we'll say int letter is equal to the initial alphabet is A, right? So we will write letter is equal to 65. Why I'm writing 65 guys? You see, this is a variable which is of int data type. You can only store the numbers, 65. So 65 represents capital A, okay? If you go to Google and search for ASCII table, okay, search for ASCII table guys, you'll get this ASCII table.com, open that. Here you will get a table. As you can see, the 65 number represents the capital A. 
okay we are going to convert the 65 into capital a and print okay while printing here while printing the alphabet here we are going to convert the 65 into a alphabet and print why we are not taking in the form of number because we have to increment 65 by 1 guys because uh, next uh, alphabet b should be printed so 66 if 65 plus 1 b, means 66 b will be printed 66 plus 1 is 67 c will be printed 67 plus 1 68 d will be printed 69 Like that, we have to keep on incrementing until all the alphabets, five alphabets are printed. For that reason, we are taking sixty-five. And here, in this print statement, we'll convert the sixty-five into alphabet. How to convert? Here, put it inside the circular brackets and uh, copy this letter, which is holding number sixty-five, and convert this letter into char type. That is uh, alphabet type. Char. If you type cast this uh, integer type of number into char, then this number will be converted into the ascii code related alphabet if 65 is there a will be represent a will be converted it will be converted to a now few more changes we need to do for this logic guys but in the first iteration when i uh, when j is equal to 0 okay here a will be printed that's fine but when i when j becomes 1 then next alphabet that is b should be printed how to make make that possible for that guys uh, we can simply add j here letter plus j so original letter is 65 in the first iteration when J is zero, sixty-five plus zero is sixty-five. So A will be printed here. A will be printed. After that, the next iteration when J becomes one, when J becomes one, here letter plus J, letter is sixty-five. Sixty-five plus one is sixty-six. When you convert sixty-six into character, what will be printed? Sixty-six into character B will be printed. So here B will be printed like this. B will be printed next. Then when the iteration. Third iteration when I J becomes two, here letter plus J, sixty-five plus J is two, sixty-five plus two is sixty-seven, sixty-seven means C. So here C will be printed like that, guys. Uh, it will keep on printing up to D E. This is the logic, guys. Okay, this is the logic. So in the next iteration when I becomes four, next I, next row that is I becomes four. Here starting from zero, less than four means up to Zero, one, two, three is only possible. So here A, B, C, D only will be printed in the second row. You see, in the second row A, B, C, D. Again, when I becomes three, uh, sorry, I becomes three. Yes, correct. I becomes three. Then zero till less than three means zero, one, two only up to one, two. That means only A, B, C will be printed. For zero, A will be printed. For one, B will be printed. For two, C will be printed. So in the th third row, like that, guys. A, B, A. It will be like that. Okay, and also. We need to make sure that after every alphabet there is a space printed, guys. You see, after every alphabet there is a space getting printed. For that, how to get that output, uh, that space in the output? For that, we need to append this alphabet that is getting printed with this space like this. Every time alphabet A is printed, then space will be printed automatically. Space, C space, like that. Okay, so this will make the job easy. Now, one more thing we have to take care of. That is nothing but. After every row, that means in the first iteration, A B C D E got printed, right? In the first iteration, A B C D E got printed. After that, the control has to come to the new row. For coming to the new row, here we need to write a print statement. After this inner for loop, we have to write a print ln statement. This print ln statement, new line, it will take you to the new line. After printing a, a alphabets in a particular row, our control should come to the new row. For that, this print ln will help. Then the next set of alphabets in the row will be printed again. We'll go to the new line like that, guys. Okay, this loop will iterate. Now let's run this code, guys. We should get this first half of the pattern now. Okay, using this logic, we should get this pattern. Let's see whether we are getting or not. Run it. You see, we got the first half of the pattern. A B C D E, A B C D, A B C, A B A. We got the first half pattern. Now we need to print the second half. How to get the second half? This is the second half. A A B A B C A B C D A B C D E. For that again, we need to write the code, guys. So uh, we have to continue this code. So somewhere here, th this will print the first half. Now we have to print the second half. So for doing so, we need to gather. Again, we have to find few things out of this pattern by looking at this pattern. We need to find how many rows are there in this pattern. How many rows? Again, one, two, three, four, five rows. Okay, five rows. And how many alphabets are there in each and every row of this second half pattern? Alphabets coming to alphabets. There are in the first row only one alphabet. Second row two. Third row three. 
then fourth row four, fifth row five. That means in the first row one, second row two, third row three, fourth row four, and fifth row total five alphabets are there. So which is kind of reverse. Like uh, when you put this inside the mirror, when you put a mirror down this pattern, right, you'll get this kind of reflection, right? Such kind of thing. So here. Since alphabets are starting with the uh, number of alphabets are like one in the first row, then two in the second row, three in the third row, fourth in the four in the fourth row, and five in the five, fifth row, right? So here also we'll create a for loop base, okay? For iterating five times, this for loop will iterate five times because number of rows in the second row is also five. So this for loop will iterate five times. But here I'll say int i is equal to I'll start with zero base. Int i is equal to zero. Why I'm starting with zero? Here one two three four five are there. We have to increment like this. Okay, we have to go in this direction. I is equal to zero. I less than five. I plus plus like this. I'll print so that we can increment the number of alphabets getting printed here. In the first row only one alphabet. In the second iteration two alphabets can be printed like that. For that reason we are writing like this. Guys. Okay. So starting from zero less than five means how many iteration this for loop will iterate? The first iteration I value zero. Second iteration one. One less than five is two. Then two, because of i plus plus, uh, I will become two. Two less than five is still true. Then three, three less than five is true. Then four, four less than five is also true. But when i becomes five, this condition will fail. So this many number of times this for loop will iterate. That is one, two, three, four, five. Total five times. Now inside this for loop, we'll create another for loop. The purpose of this for loop is to print the alphabets. The purpose of this inner for loop is to print the All alphabets, fine. But how to print? For that, I'll write in j is equal to zero, j less than or equal to i. I'll say, okay, j less than or equal to i. I'll explain you the logic why I'm writing less than or equal to i here. You'll understand j plus plus. Now here I'll say system dot out dot. Okay, so here you can actually copy paste this one if you want. Okay, this will work. System dot out dot print ln. You have to take this initial letter, which is of 65, which will represent the capital letter A plus J. And after that, after adding this, we will convert to the character. So A, B, C, D kind of thing should be printed. In the first iteration, when i is equal to zero, when i is equal to zero, okay, zero less than five is true. So I'll go inside. And here, j is equal to zero, j less than or equal to i. That means zero less than or equal to zero, zero less than or equal to zero. True. So here. This uh, this statement will run where letter is 65. 65 plus j is zero. Here j is zero, guys. 65 plus zero is 65, and it will be converted to character. That is nothing but a, guys. Okay, 65 when converted to char is a. So a will be printed. In the output a will be printed. This is the first row, guys. Okay, first row of the second pattern, second half pattern. Fine, a will be printed along with the space. That's fine. Now j plus plus j will become one. One less than or equal to zero will become false, so we'll come out of this for loop. After this, we have to move the control to the new row, right? Like after printing a, we have to go to the new row. For that, we will write print ln statement here. Now i will become one, i plus plus i will become one. Again, one less than five is true. We'll go inside the inner for loop. J is equal starting from j is equal to zero till j is less than or equal to one. That means zero and one, zero and one. Two times this for loop will iterate uh, in the first iteration. Letter plus j is zero. Okay, that is again a will be printed in the second row. Here a will be printed, and uh, after that j plus plus j will become one. One less than or equal to one is true, and here letter plus one. That is sixty five plus one, sixty six. Sixty six means capital letter B. So B will be printed in the output. After a B will be printed along with space like this. Now j will become two. So two less than or equal to one is false. So we'll come out of the for loop and we'll go to the new line like that guys. The third iteration, a three, this for loop will iterate three times and uh, a b c will be printed. In the fourth iteration, a b c d. In the fifth iteration, a b c d e will be printed. Okay, hope you understood how this is uh, printing the second half pattern. Now remove all these comments. Now let's run the code, guys. This time we should get entire pattern. Okay, our requirement is to print the K shaped alphabet pattern. This is a K shaped alphabet pattern. Now. By clubbing both the codes, the first half of the code and second half of the code, we are going to get the complete K-shaped alphabet pattern. Now, okay, let's run this. You see, the K-shaped alphabet pattern got successfully printed. So, hope guys, you understood uh, how to write a Java program to print K-shaped alphabet pattern. 
which uh, looks like this so that's it guys thank you bye